Guys, I have seen something uh, in the last couple of days um, which I haven't really spoke about, but I'm going to now. Mark Breland, who is Deontay Wilder's coach, um, who was a great fighter himself, by the way, a welterweight fighter, <coughs> threw in the towel. Uh, and I think a lot of us, a lot of us boxing fans think that he did the right thing because Wilder was getting badly beat up in that fight against Tyson Fury. And Deontay Wilder has come out with ridiculous comments um, about, about Mark Breland, which saying that Andre Durrell told Mark Breland to throw in the towel and he, Andre Durrell is trained by Sugar Hill. Like, why would Mark Breland throw in the towel when he's been with you all you know all throughout your career why would he just throw it tell you know throw in the towel and have you lose a fight he's close to you surely as a trainer you winning is good for him firstly you're going to be in a bigger fight you're going to make more money next time right by you losing he doesn't gain anything he doesn't gain anything. I, I just found it. He, listen, I think if Deontay Wilder sacks Mark Breland, and I, and I think that will happen. I think Deontay Wilder will sack Mark Breland. Um, and I, I, I don't know after the comments that Deontay Wilder's made, how can Deontay, how can Mark Breland carry on with him, saying that he was influenced by somebody else? So basically, he's questioning his integrity, right? In my opinion. I feel like a bit of humanity has died there. That there's a guy that cares for your life, that didn't want to see you get hurt, cared for you, and threw in the towel, and you're throwing him under the bus just to protect your own ego. Deontay Wilder's a fighter. So I respect all fighters because they go in the ring and they put they put their lives on the line for our entertainment. And I understand Deontay Wilder's not going to want the fight to stop. He's a warrior, of course. Wilder is a warrior. And all those people saying that Wilder isn't, he, look, he wasn't looking for no way out. He's a warrior. Wilder is a warrior and a great fighter. But that's why the coaches are there, to protect you from yourself. That fight was only going to end in one way and that was Wilder knocked out badly. And Mark Breland did the right thing. And instead of Wilder thanking him, Wilder and Jay Diaz threw him under the bus. I just, you know, that kind of breaks my heart. And I think Andre Ward coming out and saying, I stand with you, coach. I just felt that was, that, that touched me. I felt like that was... Such a great message from Andre Ward is one classy individual. I like Andre. He's just a classy guy. Right? The guy saved saved you to fight another day. Instead of thanking him, you're throwing him under the bus. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just think like if he sacks Mark Breland, which I think is going to happen, I think... I just, I just, like I said, I don't know what to say. Because it's just, Deontay Wilder doesn't care about somebody that actually cares about him. Forget boxing. Deontay Wilder's a middle-aged man. You know, if that fight had gone on a couple of more rounds, Fury had done serious dam damage to him. You know, Mark Breland was caring, caring for your wife, for your kids that you have. Wilder always talks about how many kids he's got and how he wants to bring them up. You know, you don't want to be permanently damaged, do you? Oh, it's just, I just found, I just found that this whole situation a bit troubling because I think Mark Breland was being a genuine guy. And I think he gets thanked like that, you know, by basically be caught, by basically they're saying he betrayed them. That's what it sounds like, like he, he was a, 
he betrayed them basically that's what it seems like from what wilder's coming out with the comments that he's made i just don't know i just think wilder i understand wilder's hurt he lost but to stoop that low where you blame your own coach that was there with you from the start that cares for you that he was like sounds like he betrayed him like on the take not on the take but betrayed you know that he was influenced by a guy that was trained by Tyson Fury's coach it's just I don't know I don't know what you guys make of that but I just think it's really sad um what well, leave your thoughts in the comment section below and guys remember to please like share and subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys in the next video